Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, liking, sharing, commenting, basically all of that. So thank you so much for doing that. If it's your first time on this channel, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, natural hair. So if you're interested, be sure to stick around by clicking that subscribe button and joining the family. And also guys don't forget to like this video if you like it and also share with your friend your family or anyone that you think could benefit from my content so thank you so much for doing that in advance let's hop into the video now in today's video i'm going to share with you an amazing leave-in conditioner for hair growth now this conditioner is really nice and simple yet very effective guys so i'll definitely suggest that you don't underestimate it because of the fact that it's got less ingredients sometimes the simplest things are just you know really great and effective um so i really love this conditioner because it's really moisturizing and also very nourishing for our hair now the first ingredient we're going to need guys will be some aloe vera you guys know how much i love aloe vera i talk about it all the time pretty much so you must be fed up of me seeing aloe vera already in my videos um so <laughs> um nevertheless we're still going to talk about it because you know of just of the fact that it's just amazing and it usually forms the core of most of my diys pretty much so we're going to cut a uh, part of the aloe vera that we're going to need here guys i'm using um an aloe vera leaf but if you haven't got the actual leaf it's fine you can just get the gel or the juice from the store i prefer to make mine this way because then i know exactly what's in it you know um but if you haven't got it it's fine just get it from the store so cut a small part of the aloe vera you're going to need guys and soak it for a, a, a few minutes just to allow you know all of the stuff that we don't want from it all the impurities to just get out uh, and in the meantime we're going to prepare our next ingredient which would be some carrots so i'm using one whole carrot here again i just this quantity is based on you know what you want or how much you're trying to make now carrots is great for our hair as well guys because it contains vitamin a which is actually known to condition our scalp which in turn can help prevent hair loss it also has you know uh, the ability to improve the overall strength of our hair and make it look thicker and shinier and also improves the circulation around our scalp now blood circulation is really important around your scalp area because you know studies have shown that the more or the uh, i mean if you've got good circulation around that area or increased blood circulation that you're increasing your chances of actually you know having faster hair growth because you know you're providing your follicles with you know all the nutrients you're putting in your body uh so carrots actually have pop uh, amazing properties like they can do this for you um so grate the carrot guys and pop it in your blender and then we're going to go ahead and uh put in our aloe vera now aloe vera is really great as well because we moisturizing and also has amazing hair growth property guys like i said at the beginning now i decided that i was going to do the carrot first and then do the aloe vera but then realized that it was not going to blend easily so i just you know moved it around the blender a little bit so perhaps i suggest you do it the other way around so do the aloe vera first and then the carrots or if you do it like me then just move it around so blend it and then that's what you end up with you just want to make sure that you sieve this now it's important you sieve it because you don't want to have any aloe vera stuck in your hair or carrots or anything like that so just you know just basically just to get rid of all of that now i used a tea towel here to do this guys but you can actually use a stocking cap or wig cap like anything like that my wig cap last time let me down like i used it to sieve my aloe vera and then i had some aloe vera pieces left in my hair afterwards so i decided this time that i was not going to do this again so i used the tea towel instead now because of the carrots being really uh, thin they actually managed to get through the holes of the tea towel so i'm actually going to go ahead and strain this a few more times just so i can get basically everything out um so i suggest you do it this way guys because you don't want to have anything stuck in your hair uh, pretty much because you're not really going to like it now i love this leave-in conditioner because like i said it's just really moisturizing for my hair and also of the fact that because of the fact that it's got some amazing hair growth properties that we can all benefit from now the one thing that i don't like about this is the fact that it stains okay so carrots can stain so when you go to sleep guys make sure that you know you wrap your hair with cling film 
before you put your satin scarf on or your bonnet or anything like that because otherwise you will end up with your pillowcase being stained because this what this is what happened to me or you can just let your hair completely dry before you go to sleep but sometimes it doesn't happen that way and you go to bed with like slightly damp hair and that's how you get this on your pillow um so yeah i didn't really like this um uh, but other than that it's just really great for our hair guys because of its amazing properties so after you strained it that's basically what you end up with now i'm going to go ahead and add in some olive oil i'm using extra virgin olive oil here guys but again you can use any other oil of your choice could be coconut oil argan oil or anything that you've got available so pop that in and then stir it in um quite nicely and then we're going to transfer this into our spray bottle and then we'll be pretty much ready to use it But now I'm ready to apply this to our hair guys. I'm starting on washed condition hair uh, but dry because I didn't seal the moisture in my hair immediately after I conditioned it um, just because you know I had other priorities. This usually happens to me actually it happens to me quite a lot. So I usually do this you know maybe like a few days after I wash my hair guys just because yeah, I don't always have time to do everything on the same day. Um, so if you're just like me, it's fine, okay? Don't worry about it. Just do it when you've got time. Um, so basically, I just, I'm just doing one section of my hair here, guys. I usually wash my hair in sections, just like you know, because it's just easier for me that way. And I don't detangle my hair before I wash anymore, just to save myself time. Um, so that's why my hair is usually that like this. Like I usually detangle after I wash it. Um, so I'm just going to go in ahead here and spraying this conditioner on my scalp now I hair grows for my scalp So if you want to benefit from you know the hair growth properties of this leave-in conditioner You need to spray it on your scalp guys now this does not leave any um, What do I want to say like you know how that you're not gonna have get, get any build-up from you know using this so don't worry about it okay so just spray it to your scalp massage that in also spray it on your ends guys because you you know your ends are the oldest and usually the driest part of your hair so you want to make sure that you know you protect it as much as you can pretty much so after you've done that guys now use an oil to seal in the moisture now i'm using my hair of oil here i made a video about this i think it's a video bef uh, before this one i'll link it somewhere up here for you guys if you haven't seen it and also in my description box so you i'm just using that to seal the moisture in my hair and then i'm going to go ahead and comb it through um, just to detangle pretty much now to detangle your hair guys I suggest that you use a white tooth comb just like I'm doing here or a detangling brush now what you detangle your hair with is really really important because if the teeth of your comb are really really small then that's definitely going to break your hair you're going to end up you know first of all finding it very difficult to get the comb through your hair and secondly yeah you're going to break your hair a lot so always have a white tooth comb like it just makes it so much easier and also makes your hair so much easier to handle as well so yeah um so that's basically what, all i'm doing here so just combing through starting from my ends and then working my way to my roots you know just to get all of the tangles out and then that's kind of pretty much it i'm not going to put all the footage in this video of me doing this to my hair guys just because of the fact that the video will be otherwise very long and you're probably going to get bored watching me you know um could be my hair so yeah i'm not going to insert it in here but that's pretty much all i did until my hair was completely done so after i finished detangling one section guys i just twist it and then move on to the next section and i repeat until my hair is completely done um so yeah nice and simple we time, we time. I was just showing you 
you guys how shiny my hair was looking here like look at the shine like amazing this leave-in conditioner is definitely the bomb like you need to give it a go so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching as always if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you're not already share with your friend your family and i'll catch you in my next video so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye